Hello, today I'm going to have a go at making a Hornby generic coach into something a little bit different. The plan is to turn this into a sort of director's saloon slash observation coach type thing. That means cutting a load of holes in for windows, probably removing these ducats at the end. And you might be thinking, why did I not start with a, a third class or a first class coach or something like that? Um, the main idea of that is to have the doors just one set in the middle. But it does mean I have to cut a lot of windows. So that will be the first job. Windows and ducats. And we'll see where it goes from there. These separate with a few clips down the side, if I can actually get it to open. Which I can't. There we go. I've already stripped the chassis out. I've got the wheel, wheels and bits and details and stuff in here. Unfortunately for me, the roof is moulded in as one piece, so I can't remove that. It'll make things a little bit easier. But I can remove the duck at end. So yeah. Implement of destruction. Let's commence. So we're making some good progress on the coach. Um, sorry about the background noise, by the way. The 3D printer is currently running to um, make some replacement buffers because I don't like the weird concave ones that Hornby has put on these coaches. But anyway, um, yes, I've done a whole load of filing since the last time you saw this. It's probably two and a half hours worth of just sitting and filing. I think it's starting to look okay. Um, the difficult bit that I'm trying to do now is, sorry, I keep spotting little bits that aren't quite straight or that have little bits of plastic still stuck to them. There we go. Um, let's see here. So you can see on this one, I've taken out some bits of the panelling. So in this one, they're still there. This is not an easy task at all to try and keep the, the panelling down here but lose the panelling there. I think the best way of doing it that I've found so far is just to take a file and try and run it across in very very small strokes just like that for a while and then use something like a sanding stick like this just to get sort of butt it up against the top of the panelling and just rub it like this to remove scratches. I don't know how well this is going to look so I'm just going to put this under primer so we can see the difference between this and this. Right that's some primer on there and we can see that this window here now looks a lot um, a lot more deliberate than this one because we've got rid of most of that panelling. There's still a little tiny bit at the top and the bottom, I'm trying to get this in the right light so you can see it. But it generally looks a lot better than that one. So I've just got to go around and do all the rest now. Right, we're doing well. The end is now nicely flush in, I've glued that in with some plastic cement. I've shortened down the, uh, the floor piece that was in here so it doesn't have this end on it anymore and I've replaced that on there with just some plastic card with some sort of planking lines scored in it. Hopefully you can see that. 
We've also cut a door into the end and made a little thin plastic card door to go in there. And I've masked this up ready for its first coat of primer. Um, I've masked just the inner windows here on the end. I don't know how well this is going to come out, but hopefully it'll be fine. And I don't really know what livery I'm going for. I'm just going to start with some red oxide primer and then take it from there. Apologies for the view of my balcony. Um, the torrential rain here the last couple of days has washed all the crap off the roof. So it's now all out here for us to enjoy. Um, but I've got nowhere else to film at the moment, so here it is. Anyway, the carriage is coming along all right. Finished painting, done the roof in what I hope will eventually end up looking like a faded white color once it's got a bit of weathering on it. And the end, hopefully you can see there, it's done. So while I try and figure out what to do with this, oh, the other thing is I've put um, replacement buffers on it now, which at least aren't convex anymore, or concave. Um, yes, so next step I think I'm going to try and put transfers on and paint the inside while I try and figure out what to do with this balcony end here. I'm thinking I'm probably going to have two handrails going straight from the footplate to the roof, but I don't know what to do in between. I could put a solid block in, I could put um, railings in. We'll see. I'll have a look through the bits box and see what I can find as well to maybe fit that space. <laughs> 